I couldn't believe the the amount of support and outreach that came with it, which I sent you a few things. Ryan, I'm telling you, the video with you coming here, I mean, obviously being yourself is the, the, the most crucial aspect of <clears throat> broadcasting and where people say, you know what, that person, that guy, that that girl, that lady, that guy is real. And and you just came on, you're like, hey, this is who I am. This is where I've been. This is where I want to go. Let's all hang out for the next three hours. That's what, uh, r- literally over half a million people shared yeah, that on 520, Twitter. Yeah, 520,000 right now. And that's just on Twitter alone. Yeah. So way, way to go. I, I, I told them when I, when I got out here, I said... I, this, I wanted this to feel like I was sitting at the breakfast table with my dad talking sports. Right. And it's, and, and Chris was big for that. I could look over at him. Like I just, um, and it was that I did, forgot that it was TV. I almost actually forgot that it was radio. And I just kind of, yeah, I mean, some people will come here and drop f bombs because they forget about it too. Which is, I take that in a way. It's a very comfortable. It, it, it is. Yeah, it's a yeah, compliment it's that they're that they're just chilling and relaxing. And so you were great at it. Thank you. Were you. Great at it. And and so, uh, I know you're you're continuing on in your career. Let's start with what you told me back uh, in our green room here about who has reached out to you and say, hey, let's let's work together. Yeah, you and I are, I guess, colleagues now, right? Okay. Uh, uh, Rich works for the works for the NFL NFL Network, and the yeah. NFL just hired me uh, oh. two weeks ago. All right, yeah. uh, to uh, I'm I'm one of the program coordinators for the NFL Legends community, which is essentially helping players with their transition from the NFL to real life because it's it's so difficult. Very similar to what Jay Glazer and Nate Bo- Nate Boyer do with MVP with vets right. and players, because that transition is is so difficult. You go from being uh, on on top of this pedestal to really your career being over, and then what's next? Your identity. No matter if you played 20 years or really one or two years, you really don't know what that identity is. And you have to have have help figuring it out. And we're there to be a fellowship. And I, I didn't think I was a legend. That's the way I interpreted it. And I walked into one of those lounges at the Super Bowl back in San Francisco, and Chad Pennington was there, and Warwick Dunn, Donnie Edwards, all former teammates, friends of mine, that just put their arm around me and said, you know, what we were able to do to get where we got, that yeah. makes us NFL legends, regardless of what anybody else thinks. And um, the fact that, you know, four years removed from going into that room, um, Tracy Perlman and, and, and the NFL and Mr. Goodell have asked me to, to represent them. I mean, that's, if you would have told me that four and a half years ago when I walked out of a prison cell, that I'd be working for the NFL, or even at, that I'd want to be around the NFL. Um, that, that, those are miracles. Well, because, again, having been around the league as obviously as I, I have been and I, knowing the commissioner as I do and the program as well, what, what also is making you a legend is what you have done in the last four and a half years because what the league wants to do is tell all these kids who come off of campuses like Washington State with the resumes like you had. There's a lot of big men on campus who are about to be drafted fourth, fifth, sixth round, or not at all, who are going to be wondering what the hell just happened, or they are drafted top five in the draft, and three and a half years later, because that's the average length of an NFL career, they've got to find something else to do, and they might find that a very difficult transition, and you being able to be there, right there, every step of the way, that is invaluable. That is legendary stuff, Ryan. I appreciate that. Uh, that's fact. I, that's I went fact. to the summit. We had our summit in uh, Fort Lauderdale a week ago, and I got to be around all my uh, my new brothers in the NFL Brotherhood, and, and it. Uh, I, I I didn't feel when I walked into that room like I like less than or um, judged or anything like that. I don't right. feel that anymore. Um, and they make it feel welcoming, and I know that. I have a purpose, and that's all what it's about. When a player retires or a player gets through the NFL, they find another purpose. Right. And 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 I, I really feel like I found that, and uh, I'm really grateful for the opportunity. That's great. So are you going to be – some? because the legends are – from the legends community are on the field at the combine, yeah. talking to the kids, talking to the prospects, in the meeting rooms. Stuff. Is that the sort of stuff you're going to do? I too? got the opportunity to do it two years ago when it was the Deshaun Watson, Patrick Mahomes – um, uh, group, okay. uh, Mitchell Trubisky. They were in my group, and you know, you really could tell the guys that were. Uh, I walked in the room and told them, uh, "Well, you have Mark Brunel stand up and say I played 19 years in the NFL, yeah. and I, I stand up and I go uh, four years in the NFL, and and uh, it almost is. I almost feel shameful a little bit when I do it in the room with Tony Richardson and, and Mark Brunel, and they they play that long. But 
But you, no, but Ryan, your your NFL experience is is the average is an NFL experience. Right. Well, I mean, it's average in terms of length, but all the other aspects yeah. of yours is unique. And if somebody could be told in real time, if somebody could have told you in real time, now you might have been so messed up that you wouldn't have listened to anybody. But I mean, because I've heard many situations like that, and I don't want to speak for you. But if you could be there in real time for somebody three we even three weeks from now because this stuff can g- yep. hit you fast as an nfl rookie really really, really fast. fast so that's invaluable stuff and it was it was really interesting to see the guys who stepped up in a leadership position in within a leadership group of quarterbacks um patrick mahomes was one of the biggest uh guys that asked a bunch of questions to me about things and i mean you could just tell some of the guys that they were they were going to step up and do the nathan peterman was was probably one of the the most knowledgeable and fundamental and technical quarterbacks. It hasn't translated so much into the NFL, but there was a reason why he ended up in Buffalo um, because of what he did through that process. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.